Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, but I'm back. And today, if I can get myself comfortable, I'm going to do a colouring chat from Fairy Portraits by Deborah Muller. It's a lovely book, this is. Um, you have to excuse the noise of the pan. I can't help it. It's so hot. I've got to do it. So we're going to do this one. This is Pippa. And we're going to use sorry, mostly the Ohu Hu markers. But I'm going to use the Touch New Fruit Pink for her her skin. Let me just get a paper from behind so I don't mark the next page, which I want to do at uh, Quinn, which is uh, a sort of Irish one looking one. So I'll we'll do that over the uh, St. Patrick's Day next year, probably. It's been a long day. I'm going to say that. It's been such a long day today. It is, I'm throwing this, and it is Friday. It's late, it's about 11 o'clock. Um, I'll tell you what's been going on in a minute. So, lots, not nothing ex really exciting, but. So, we're all fine anyway. I've just been, it's just so hot here at the moment. I am absolutely sweltering, and the fan's not even pointing at me, so I'm just going to move it. Like that. I hope the light doesn't fall over. Um, it's very hot here in the UK, for the UK. I mean, it's not hot compared to other places in the world, get, I know. But we're not used to it. We don't get it that. And then when we do get it, it's not that hot. It's only like 28 but degrees. But for us, that, that's hot. And we're not used to it. And I'm not good in the heat anyway. So this is, I'm suffering. I'm constantly sweating, hot and headachey because of the air pressure and the humidity it absolutely destroys me but I will survive so this week it's just like I said it's been too hot to do filming I haven't felt like it I've been so tired of going to bed really early and sleeping all night which has been lovely um today's the first day I feel really up to it and I think that's because um work went okay and then we've been next door this afternoon this evening well we went out and had fish and chips at the, the pub the Prince of Wales and then we went, we got back and I popped outside cause, to say hello to my neighbour Jessica and she was there so we said hello and then uh, Jennifer came out and she said, oh Jen do you want to come and play for a bit? Because she was having a barbecue and I didn't want to disturb her because she was having a friend around and I said, oh we won't stay long. I said, oh that's alright, come around for a bit. I went, alright then. So we just went around, had a drink and Jen went in the hot tub with um, Sienna and they were playing. And then her friend arrived and she said, oh Anne do you want to stay for the barbecue? And Paul, well, only if you don't mind, we don't want to intrude, you know, because we wouldn't mind to go home. You know, and she said, no, that's right, stay again, come round again tomorrow, we'll have another one. And I went, well, okay then. So I, I had a couple of bottles of wine, so I took them over so, to share. And that was fine. And it was nice, Jennifer was in the hot tub with nothing on. <laughs> it was so funny, we were all in the hot tub, me, Jess, and the kids. And one of the headrests had come off and we were looking for bits. And Jess pulled something out of the pool. And she went, what's this? Is this a mask bar? It's a squash mask bar. And she sniffed it, she went, no, it's poo. <laughs> And the only person who actually closed on was Jennifer, so Jennifer must have had a poo in the pool. Oh, I, was, I couldn't stop laughing. Paul was mortified. I thought it was hysterical. Jess just got, got it sorted and cleaned it out. We all got out, put some more chlorine in. We had the barbecue around there, and then it was fine, and she's going to wash the tub out on the end after the weekend anyway, so it's fine. It happened, but she was... It was funny. Even thinking about it now, I'm laughing. It was not very nice, but... I said, yeah, get some extra chlorine in there, kid. <laughs> She is a really nice, nice girl. My neighbour, very, very nice lady. So I'm very lucky to have nice neighbours like that. So. so yeah, I'm tired. So I'm just gonna do a bit of this um, and head off to bed. I'll probably do some pencil over the top because I'm so fast with these. I do get a bit streaky later, but that's just me. I know if I did it properly and slowed down, I'd probably get it better, but <coughs> I'm just not good enough to be bothered. So, um, yeah, it's all right. So, it's going to be even hotter tomorrow and Sunday. We were going out for Sunday lunch Sunday, but I've cancelled it. It's just too hot to sit in a, a hot pub and eat a big meal. But, uh, we're supposed to be going to Newport tomorrow and get some more stuff for tomorrow's barbecue and just have a wander around the shops. I am so hot, even now. And I've had a shower to get the chlorine out of my hair. Not that I was, like, you know, because like, my hair's so long it's in the chlorine. And off, yeah, I'm sweating still, I've got the fan on, it's just too hot. 
I much prefer winter. Um, hopefully Jennifer will sleep well tonight. She's gone to bed. She had a story and she's gone straight to bed. So it was it was nearly ten o'clock when she went to bed. It was gone ten o'clock actually. And um, it is a, it's a Friday, so it's not so bad. It's not like she got get up in the morning. She can have a lie in if she wants. Um, yeah, it's all good though. We're doing all right. We're all right. Um, I'm wondering when Ava Brown and Jade Summer are going to be releasing something new again. Looking forward to it. I always like getting new books. I've got far too many though. I do I have to keep saying this. Every month I say I'm going to calm down and I don't. But, well, you know, what does it matter? Can't take it with you. So there's no weekly vlog this week. I was doing one, but it was I kept forgetting to do it. So I thought I need a week off. That's what it means when I keep missing. So I thought I'll have a week off. And then we'll start again next week. I'll check my holiday allowance, what I've got left. And I might book a couple of days just to do some sorting out and tidying up because there's colouring stuff everywhere. Usual hours. I'm so tired from going to bed late the night before. I just sleep. So I might have to make it a night when I'm not doing very much. So I actually get up and get stuff done. Well, I'd be up anyway because I take Jennifer to nursery and get stuff done. So I have been watching all the videos, all the end of the month ones. I'm still watching some of them. Um, and I've been watching uh, Chelsea, Chelsea Jade Murray Colouring. I love her channel. So big shout out. We've, we've done a buddy colour this month. I finished mine, she's still doing hers. So you'll see that at the end of the month. It's, I mean, I know it's only in the middle of the month, but I seem to have thousands of whips and I'm trying to get them done. So I said, don't mind starting one for the channel, but I'm trying not to start anything else. And it's really hard because there's so many pictures I want to colour. So I'm working on whips for the weekend and then we'll see. I might uh, start something new if I can get rid of a couple. I've, I did nearly finish one earlier this afternoon before we went out, so that's good. It's not quite finished but it's getting there and I'll have another go at it um, tomorrow, I'll try and do a bit more tomorrow. I'm just going to do this and I go to bed because I'm not feeling 100% today. But I wanted to check in and see how you all were, I mean, are you, what are you colouring at the moment? You colouring anything good? You got any good books? I have got uh, Clara Markova's Tenderful Chantments on the way, so I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait to get that book. And then I've got three of the five that she's put out so far, of course if she puts another one out, I'm I'm gonna cry. I mean, I want her to because her books are beautiful, and she get and like all artists, she gets better the more the more she does. So, uh, uh. I'm so happy. I've got loads of movies for my birthday. So my brother gave me the box set of Laurel and Hardy uh, feature films, which also has a load of the. Um, shorts on it as well and the feature films are both in the original black and white and then they there's a colorized version i'll watch the original black and white because i like black and white and then paul's mum gave me basil rathbone sherlock holmes box set which i really love i loved watching that when i was a kid i can't wait to watch them again so i've always liked sherlock holmes anyway and i remember watching the basil rathbone films when i was little or younger it's having a time though because Jennifer has control of the TV during the day and then in the evening I'm either colouring or I'm going to bed or we're catching up on YouTube. But Paul's out Saturday, um, not this Saturday, coming up next Saturday. So I might have a movie fest downstairs and make some popcorn and some, get some cider or even just even a Diet Coke. I'll be, I'm happy with that, I don't need to drink me. And I might just uh, sit and watch movies, I think that. Oh. Right, that's that one. What colour do I want? Where did I put my swatches? Ugh, who knows? I don't even know yet. Um. They're probably behind me. Yeah, there we go. And I want... Yeah, it's just 
it's been a busy week but uh, I really do want to start watching some of these movies because I haven't watched a film for a while um, and I do like watching movies they really are my big thing other than colouring and reading obviously colouring I love colouring I just love putting some ink on the paper or pencil on paper and seeing what happens again it is hard to do it with Jennifer around because she wants me to sit on her all the time though sometimes if I get a colouring book out and start colouring she'll want to colour as well which is great I have heard they've got a sale on stationery in W. H. Smith's so I'm going to town tomorrow, so I might have to have a look. I'm not saying I'm going to buy anything, but uh, uh, you never know, I might do. <laughs> we'll see. So everybody's in bed now, and hopefully everybody's asleep. I think Jennifer is, because she would have been yelling if she wanted. I'll check on her in a minute, before I go to bed. It's like I don't watch a lot of television now like I used to. Um, obviously when I was younger I used to watch a lot of TV but we didn't have the choices that you had. We had like five channels if we were lucky, four channels um, and then five eventually when Channel 5 came online but you know it was you watched BBC One, BBC Two, BBC Three or S4C because we are in Wales and uh, so three really because we don't speak Welsh and uh, we would Saturday afternoon there'd be old films on or sport. Late in the evenings there'd be old films on, Christmas, and I'd record them all and, and watch them and I missed that because they never put old films on the main channels. Now you have to go to a specialist channel, so for instance Sony Classic Movies, which is actually quite a good channel to be honest. Every now and again I go and have a look to see what's coming up, if there's anything I want to record, whether I watch it or not. I mean I started watching films and I stop and then I'll go back and watch them again. So, battery's gone, I have to try and find a battery, I won't be a second. <laughs> That's it, change the batteries, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, so, it's all good. But you can't always rely on there being um, something good on. I have got loads of stuff to watch, I just haven't watched them yet. So I need to spend some time and watch some movies. But sometimes I have to be in the mood as well. It's like I watch YouTube sometimes when I'm colouring in the evening. Um, but generally if I want to watch a TV programme or a film I've got to be in the mood. And which is why I'm glad for things like catch up. So, like, if I don't want to watch something, like the only thing I do really watch is called Midwife and Doctor Who. But if I don't want to watch them or I'm busy, it doesn't matter if I miss them, I can watch them the next day on catch up, and that's what I do. But it's hard. Because Jennifer wants to watch TV when, she's, when we're in the front room all the time. Even if she's not watching it and she's playing, if you turn it off, she kicks off. She's just at that age where it all, everything resolve, revolves around her. She'll change as she gets older and she won't want to be with us. So. Very Shirley Temple curls, the little ringlets she's got, this girl. literally sweated cobs it's hot i hate this weather i am one of those people who longs for winter and i don't moan that it's too cold and the only time it annoys me is obviously if i'm trying to get the car going in the morning and it's hot and it's cold out there and it's frozen but and that's usually my fault for not remembering to put the cover on it so that the window doesn't ice up it's my own fault And I have to try and remember next this when this winter come in. And I always think that if you're cold, you can always put the heating on, or you can always put a jumper on, and you can put more layers on. 
But if you're hot, there's only so much you can take off in public before you get arrested. And I don't really want to get arrested, do you? So I think, I, you know, <clears throat> in winter I'll be happier. Even sitting out the back in the garden where she's got, she's got a big awning, a gazebo, over the hot tub to stop the sun hitting the kids in the, in the, the big heat if they're out there during the day. It's still hot and it's still pouring off you. You know, it was nice at the end when we were just sitting out there and it was getting dark and it was cooling off but it's still not that cool and it's boiling upstairs in the bedrooms. I'm oh, just having a drink. No. It's, sometimes it's just very hard to know what to do. the heat. Oh, so, so tomorrow some of the restrictions being lifted in Wales, not all of them, and not like England which are lifting most of them although sort of sort of in a way where they're saying yeah you don't have to wear a mask but you can if you want to it's like really either wear one or don't over here it's still wear them still work from home so much so much certain restrictions are being lifted which is great you know it's still they're being sensible they've been taking it slowly and seeing what's happening because cases are rising with a new delta variant and they're rising rapidly and it is quite scary that Although there's not the death, the amount of people who have been told to isolate is growing. So it's like, ooh. Now it's alright, if I, if I got told to isolate, I'd be okay, I can still work for a living. Well, it'd be difficult because I'd have Jennifer off, so... It would, it'd be very difficult because she, if she had to isolate with us, which she would... while we were waiting for the results, we would be a bit stuck because I wouldn't be able to work because she'd want me with her all the time. But it's just one of those things to have to manage. Fortunately that hasn't happened but I know that there are a lot of people getting pinged by the app. Not happened to us yet. I mean it's nice to see people out and about and having fun. As long as you're sensible. I mean, I was like, I'm happy to keep wearing a mask for the time being. You know, if that's what is required, I will happily do it. I am not one of those people who's going to kick off because I know it's there for a reason. I can also get why people don't want to or can't wear them. I mean, I would love not to. I do suffer from chronic asthma and probably could get away with it. But I just think if it's only for a little while, I haven't got a problem. It's why I haven't had my hair coloured in over a year is because I couldn't sit there for that amount of time. Um, I'll hopefully have it cut soon because I probably could sit there for that amount of time but not for like three hours while they colour cut, wash, dry, whatever they do these days is what they're allowed to do. It takes so long. They've got to get the dye on and then it takes half an hour. Then they've got to, and, and that's assuming that they can get it off straight away. Well, they should, probably aren't as busy now but then they've got to wash it properly and it takes ages to wash because you've got all the stuff to come out. There's probably another 40 to 50 minutes before he cuts it because he's a good, good cut stylist. It's just too much for me in this heat and with a mask. So I'm afraid I'm sporting the grey haired look. I am embracing the old crone. I gotta be honest, it used to bother me, but now I don't give a, I don't care. really don't. What's the point? We all got to get old at some point, so. It's not the end of the world, is it? Let's be honest. I'm not going to do this for a long time. Um, I'm probably going to do about half an hour. It's not going to be a long one, and then we'll do another one with this picture. And we'll finish it off, put some sparkles on it, and, you know. I don't think I'll do a background. I might do a paint background, which I'll do. Separately, I don't know yet, I haven't decided. 
We'll see. We'll see. I am so hot. I keep saying that. I'm sorry for boring you. I totally am sorry for boring you. Uh, never mind. Yeah, so tomorrow we're going to, to town, or as Jennifer calls it, we're going to the tower. The tower is a multi-story car park. She goes, we take our car in the tower. Like we do. Although I probably would be regretting it because it's going to be hotter tomorrow. We'll have to see. See what time everybody gets up. Check on Jen in a bit, make sure she's okay. do that, I can't help myself, I've got to, I've got to make sure she's alright. <sighs> so hot. Sorry, I'm saying it, I'm doing it again, I know, I'm saying it's so hot, I do apologise. I know, it's nothing compared to some places in the world, I know that, it's just, I'm not, I hate it. Ooh, right. for some colours now. Some green ones. That one and that one. Yes. 48 as well. That's 48. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, I want to have a look in the sale. Um, I want to look in the uh, works. I want to get some books to read for my mum. And I always like to look at the colouring books in there and look at the art supplies because, you know, we're all a little bit crazy. We like our art supplies, don't we? I'm just going to do her face and then I'll leave it and then I'll come back to it and we'll do another one. Um, are we on nerd? We've done 20 minutes. Yeah, that'd be about right actually anyway. I don't want to make it too long. I'm too hot. I want to get to bed. I sound like a right winger, don't I? Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to look at a couple of books I've got today, colouring books I've got today before I go to sleep. What I uh, see what pictures I fancy in them. Oh, sorry, I just bagged the camera then. I like this green. This is um, well, actually, it's pastel green. It's yellow green um, from the Ohu Hu number 48. It's a lovely colour. Kids uh, broken up from school now. Not Jennifer, because she goes to a private nursery, which is open all year round, apart from week after week in between Christmas and New Year. I think they close, so I just have to manage those weeks. Um, but yeah, so it's not so bad. So she is still good to go. She loves it, she loves going and she has so much fun and she's so sweet. Uh, yeah, that's all good really. Um, what green do I want now for her eyes? Mm, 46. It's very nice when I, every time I bend down, I can see, I can get, I get a nice breath of, 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 of
cool air, but I can also see my, my white hair in the, uh, the, the, the um, photo lamp, which is absolutely boiling hot. So, yeah, that's the only problem with that. You get so hot. As it gets so hot. That's that one. Sheesh. Go. nice little pink colour. Number nine. That's what I use a lot actually. Dark blush. She's like, hmm? Just looking for a colour, and I can't find it there. So yeah, um, Chelsea did a good video. I watched it today. It was just a colour and chat, but it was a really good one in um, Chibi Girls Christmas by Jade Summer, and it looked absolutely brilliant. So I really liked it. Uh, I was well impressed. Yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Sometimes when you look for something you can't see it and it is so so annoying. I don't know what this is meant to be, but that's what kind of I'm doing now. I think I'll do as much as I can now for a bit longer because we've done 26 minutes or so and then I'll, what I'll do is I'll do all the glitter gel pen later and then in the next one and put some pencil work over the, the skin and to put some blush on her cheeks and stuff. That's that one. That's that there. There's that nice colour I like. One, four, four. I'm struggling tonight. I do apologise. I cannot see these for flipping looking. There it is. And sometimes it is like that, you can't see for looking. So. I like this one. I 
it's a nice book this one actually I will be honest I like Deborah Miller's books but this one's particularly nice because it's just portraits some are more difficult than others and I've got more detail and then there are other ones like this one which are fairly simple I really like it, I think it's lovely. The next one's going to be green as well because it's like a St. Patrick's one almost, Quinn. That'll be yellow and green. And, but I like green. Don't use it that often. Not much left because um, next lot will be done in uh, the uh, the next video when we do the glitter and stuff. I might do. Uh, I'll do some pencils, but I'll hopefully feel a bit more up to it. It's going to be hot most of next week, but it is going to cool down after Sunday, which is a relief. Not by March, but bit, and then it's supposed to have thunderstorms at the end of next week. We will have to see. How well it goes. Yeah, hopefully it will <coughs> cool off for me, but you never ever know, do you, what it's gonna do. So It's all gonna be fine I think you know it just needs to cool down for me um, at least it's not raining I, I mean I'm not keen on the rain I, I don't mind the rain I like walking in the rain but you know in the summer people want some Sun so you can get out and enjoy it which is nice I put like I said I like cold crisp winter mornings um, yeah Jennifer was funny I don't think we'll ever let her live that down here, pooing in the, in the pool. She said it wasn't it, but there's nobody else it could have been because everybody else had costumes on. She was the only one who was, who was butt naked in the pool. So how could it have been any of the others? You know, unless Harry did it earlier. And I can't see it because he's like 11. So. Oh, bless her. Mortifying, actually. It really was. What's that one? Yeah, that'll be nice. So, yeah, it is quite mortifying when they do something like that, but it is what it is, and you just have to deal with it. So, oh, I love her. And she was like, it wasn't me, it's like, oh, Jan, it couldn't have been anybody else. The funny thing is, a bit earlier on, not long before that, she'd asked to go to the toilet. And I was like, come on then. She went for a wee. She said, I haven't got in the habit of asking for to go for a number two yet. go I am going to call it a night because my eyes drooping and I don't want to do any more I don't want to ruin it by falling asleep on the job but what I'll do in the next one I'll show you this now is 
in the next one in the next video what we'll do is we'll do the wings and the glitter here and then before I do that I'll go over her skin with a polychromous pencil because I like those for skin uh, we'll put some glitter on her wings here up in her bows um, on her dress and then if I've got time I might do a background um, but we'll see what how long it's been going on for this has only been like 33 minutes it's not a long video so it's just one I wanted to get one out just so that you know I'm still here I'm still colouring, it's just been a really hectic hot week and I'm just absolutely exhausted all the time. It's the heat, is, it, does, it does kill me. <coughs> so this is uh, uh, Deborah Muller's Fairy Portraits. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me a comment down below. Give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you very, very soon guys. Bye.